Hey guys, Ray from Love the RV and Boat. Um, well, we're back in the RV now. Um, put the boat in storage. And I got a problem with the RV fridge. Uh, we noticed when we fired it back up, it's not cooling quite as well anymore. Freezer seems to be uh, cooling okay, like the ice cubes are solid. But in the fridge, we started noticing that it would only uh, show about 40 degrees up here, 40, 42 degrees Fahrenheit. Whereas before on this top shelf, it would get so cold, especially in this fall weather, it would get up right around freezing. Sometimes we'd, we'd freeze things up here. So definitely not cooling properly. A um, couple of things can cause that in my experience. It could be a bad cooling unit um, in the piping, which would be bad because this fridge would pretty well be toast because the cooling unit is very expensive to replace. But another thing that can cause that problem is the what's called a thermistor. On this model of Dometic fridge, they have this slider over here. You can see colder and warmer. And you can slide it up and down on these fins and change the temperature of the refrigerator portion slightly. Another thing that could have caused it would be the door seal. It was letting in warm air, but the door seal's fine. And also, there's also a drain hose over here. You can see it drain, drips water there and it drains out on the ground. Something happens to that drain hose. You can get warm air coming back into your refrigerator, but that's definitely not the case now because we're in pretty cold weather. So I'm pretty sure it was this thermistor. Let's pull that off and give you a look at that. Get out of its little slider. And you can see the end there. So in that little tip there, there's a, a small device that senses temperature. And then it runs down through this uh, grommet and out to the other side and plugs into the controller board so that it can tell what temperature the refrigerator is and decide whether it's going to turn on um, the electric or the gas to uh, heat up the absorption fridge and thus cause more cooling. So let's go outside and I'll give you a look at where the controller board is. Basically I know it's that part now because I unplugged it from the controller board, left it overnight, and it was actually less than 20 degrees, froze some pop even. So I know the fridge is capable of cooling, so the cooling unit is good. So I ordered myself one of those thermistors, but I'll just show you the outside portion. Okay, so that's with the panel off. This is the drain hose I was talking about. It drains water out there when, you know, if you're defrosting or something or any ice melts on the fins that it can drain out. Um, this is actually a fan that I have installed. But behind that, I took off this uh, cover. There's just one screw and that's the controller board there. So it controls whether you're going to turn on the electric element out there or whether you're going to fire the gas whether you're on gas or electric and it's responsible on gas for for sparking it to ignite it as well but right in here is the thermistor plug you can see in here p p2 and it's listed as m and that's the thermistor so it comes off of there and then it goes up into the fridge so this is what I said I unplugged this part here and that undid the sensor and it basically caused, caused the fridge to run full on all the time so it just kept cooling and cooling and cooling. So I've ordered that from uh, Amazon and I'm going to change it and we'll see if that solves my problem and the fridge starts cooling correctly. So I was able to take this little plastic grommet off and then uh, pull that uh, sensor wire and sensor tip back through to the outside. And there it is there. You can see where it plugs into the board and then the sensor from in the fridge. Now that it's unplugged, you can see it's drawing 2.59 amps on the, on the electrical element there. So that's heating up the boiler which in turn 
boils the fluid and causes the absorption action to, to take place. Works by evaporation and absorption to cool the fridge versus the home type that are compressor fridges. Nowadays a lot of the RVs are starting to come with compressor type fridges. DC compressors that uh, run off pretty low power but they still draw a fair amount of power so I kind of like to have the option of uh, using gas. It just draws even less power when we're off grid so I like to keep this fridge going if I can. It actually when it works it works really well. It keeps our ice cream nice and hard, our ice cubes nice and the fridge actually works pretty good so hopefully changing that will solve the problem. There is a test I saw in the manual for this, so I'm just going to give that a try as well, see if this actually tests as defective. So the test is put it in a glass of ice water and then measure the ohms, and it should be between 8,000 ohms and 10,000 ohms. So this is showing 7,100 ohms. So it actually is lower than the range. So that kind of makes sense. If this thing can't reach the higher ohms, then it probably is going to not cool as well. That's why it's getting to 40, but it should be down between like 32 and 36. So I guess that is defective. We'll see. Stay tuned. I got a new one on the way. Well, part has arrived. It's pretty cheap. It was only, I think, somewhere around $15 for it. So we'll give this one a test. That one's testing better. 8.63 kilo ohms. So 8,630 ohms. That's in the range that calls for between 8 and 10. 8,000 and 10,000 ohms in the ice water test. So we'll put it in, see if she works. Luckily, that connector was small enough I was able to uh, push it right through to the other side. I'll put this uh, grommet back in place. Put the sensor back in this little uh, plastic piece, which you can see colder or warmer. So you slide it up and down the fin to adjust. And on the outside, I just followed the same path down behind the the cooling piping and there was a couple uh, ties here that I replaced just to dress the lead comes back up plugs right in there so we'll put the cover back on if you're wondering what this is that's my uh, fans I have some Titan fans here it's in the summer they're used for cooling there's an auto mode with a temperature sensor or you can go manual mode it does a pretty good job actually I like them because they're fairly quiet, but uh, they're actually sending me out another unit to test. Um, it's a new system that's supposed to mount right in along there, a large, uh, a long bar fan. So look forward to that video coming up. Anyway, let's give her a, a test and see if it's cooling properly now. Well, looks like it was successful. About 36 degrees. 36. On the top shelf there. 34. Yeah, looking good. Before it couldn't go down below 40. Let's check the freezer. Oh yeah, minus 12 minus 7 so yeah we're looking pretty cold in there well good to have the fridge working again because we're just about ready to start going south in a couple weeks and we'll do a lot of off-grid camping so we do we use the gas quite a bit I'll leave some links to other fridge videos I did. I had one where the electric element was bad. And like I said, um, I'm going to be doing a thing on that fan, the new version of the, the fridge fan. So stay tuned for that. Until next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Cheers, everyone.